Hi, this is David Benkoff from Jewish Culture 101. Here are some clips from my class about songwriter and lyricist Lynn Ahrens. First, a selection of her songs for musical theater. You'll see numbers from Once on This Island, A Christmas Carol, Anastasia, Ragtime, Susical, and Rocky. Cold home, I can almost see With the red front door and a roaring fire And a Christmas tree Yes, a place called home Full of love and fear And I'm there at the door Watching you come home to me Ladies with parasols Fellows with tennis balls There were gazebos And there were no Negroes And everything was right on Up in Harlem, people danced to a music that was theirs and no one else's The sound of changing times the music of a better day. Listen to that rag time. Ladies with parasols, fellows with tennis balls. There were no Negroes and there were no immigrants. Gentle is a merry They came from Western and Eastern Europe by the thousands. No dream was too big. They would be the next J.P. Morgan, Evelyn Nesbitt, or Henry Ford. It would be their century, too. It was only 1906. And there were 94 years to go. Oh, the things you can think, think and wonder and dream far and wide as you dare. To think when your things have run dry in the blink of an eye. There's another thing there. Tremendous heart, tremendous emotion, who yearn to find one another and to find love and to, to redeem themselves. Something like true, something like warm, something like being sheltered from the storm. Now we'll look at some of the best schoolhouse rock songs she wrote. A noun is a person, place, or thing, the preamble, the great American melting pot, interplanet Janet, interjections, and no more kings. Well, every person you can know, and every place that you can go, and anything that you can show, you know they're nouns. A noun's a special kind of word. It's any name you ever heard. I find it quite interesting. A noun's a person, place, or thing. Oh, I took a train, took a train to another state. you can go like a state or a home and anything that you can show like animals and plants or a train you know their nouns you know their nouns oh. the first part of the constitution is called the preamble and tells what those founding fathers set out to do we the people in order to form a more perfect union establish justice ensure domestic tranquility common defense, promote the general welfare and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity to ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. My grandmother came from Russia, a satchel on her my grandfather had his father's cap he brought from Italy. They'd heard about a country where life might let them win. They paid the fare to America and there they melted in. A lovely lady Liberty with her book of recipes.
Monaco was founded by the English. But also by the Germans, Dutch, and French. The principal still sticks, our heritage is mixed. So any kid could be the president. You simply melt right here. Doesn't matter what your skin, it doesn't matter where you're from or your religion. You jump right into the great American melting pot. Great American melting pot. Go on and ask your grandma, hear what she has to tell. Sun. It's a lot of fun. It's a hot spot. It's a gas. Hydrogen and helium in a big bright glowing mass. It's a star. Kinda green and inviting, so Janet thought she'd give it a go. But the creatures on that planet looked so very weird to Janet, she didn't even dare to say hello. It's a bird, it's a plane, why it must be a UFO. But it was interplanet Janet, she's a galaxy girl. The solar system is from a future world. She travels like a rocket with a comet team, and there's never been. No, there's never been a planet Janet hasn't seen. Mars is red and Jupiter's big and Saturn shows off its rings. Uranus is built on a funny tilt and Neptune is its twin. And Pluto, little Pluto, is the farthest planet from our sun. When Reginald was home with Flu, uh -huh, the doctor knew With one small injection While raging on uttered some interjections Hey, that's smart! Ouch, that hurts! Yeah, that's not fair! Give the guy a shot down there! Interjections Hey! Excitement, yeah! Emotion. Ouch! They're generally set apart from a sentence By an exclamation point Or by a comma when the feeling's not as strong mm. <laughs> They knew that now they'd run their own land <sighs> But George the Third still vowed he'd rule them to the end. Anything I say, do it my way now. Anything I say, do it my way. Don't you get to feeling independent? Cause I'm gonna force you to obey. He taxed their property, he didn't give them any choice. And back in England, he didn't give them any voice. That's called taxation without representation, and it's not fair. But when the colonies complained, the king said, I don't care. I hope you enjoyed the Lynn Aarons clips. Every Monday I offer a free online class, Jewish Culture 101, which looks at the contributions of American Jews to literature, Broadway, art, film, music, and television. Students describe the course as thought-provoking, highly enjoyable, and well-constructed. See links and info in the notes.